Hey Patriots, you guys know who it is. It's Tyrone, the conservative guy. You know what I say, call me Mr. Conservative. Coming back at you with another video. I'm on my way to work, you guys. Remember the contents. I'm sorry, the giveaway. Please comment so I can put your name in the bucket, you guys. And you could win one or two prizes, okay? Now that that's out the way, let me get down to the nitty gritty, you guys. Uh, there's a lot of hateful things going on. A lot of wishing death upon our presidents. Patriots, let's get out there. Let's pray for our president. Um, you know, God put every man in office for a reason. Um, look, I want to remind you what nuisance did in California, where they passed laws that you couldn't praise and worship. Just uh, a few years ago, they was low-key trying to outlaw the Bible. Um, this was a few years ago. You guys also, you guys, they, they are not allowing people to go to church. Um, let me also go to, oh, quite California also passed the law what is it sb 145 i believe it is where you do not have to register as a sex offender if you sleep with someone that's 10 years younger than you oh my god so now that i got that out the way you see these these policies that are being pushed in so say what you want to say about trump okay trump is that last thin line that i always say holding back the floodgates of these satanic devils who are trying to come against you christians so, I want to point out Shamrak, Neshak, and the Bendigo. A Bendigo, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. So, remember these three Hebrew boys, right? And these people will come and tell the king, right? His, his, his people, to, hey, you know what? We need to put this law in. We need to put this law in. We need to make this law and this law, right? And if they don't bow down to you, they knew what they was doing. Patriots, they knew what they was doing. If you don't bow down, they're going to be sentenced to death. So Christians realize what Joe Biden is, okay? Nothing bad against him, but I still believe he's a puppet. He's a puppet for the radical left. Um, I do appreciate Biden taking down his, his ads for the time being. Thank you, Biden. Plus, I think that would have hurt him in the long run if he kept running them. Because now you're personally attacking the office. And a lot of people may not respect the man, but they respect the office. So, kudos for you. That was a smart move on your behalf. But, you guys, back to the three Hebrew boys. So, when they came and told the kings, all these laws, and the kings just stamped, put a stamp of approval on it, um, pretty much outlawing for them to worship their God. What are the Democrats trying to do? They're trying to come against you worshiping your God. Um, this should be a very scary time, a very scary time for us. I'm taking it very serious, um, personally, because if you don't know that the time is near, and to all you pastors as well who is openly speaking against your president, I thought you was the same pastors that said that, you know, God elect, put, put men in office, you know, um, for pastors that, that are, are speaking these things I see on media and I mean you're a man of God and I would just ask you to remember you know what God told you what did God tell you because God is never wrong okay we're wrong God doesn't he's not biased towards one side okay God does everything for a reason you guys okay God would tell you something and he will not go back on his word okay if God tells you he's going to bless you he's going to bless you you know he's a promise keeper just want to remind you guys he is a promise keeper you guys okay so yes trial times you know I, I'm not I'm not worried about it personally okay I know Trump's going to come out he's going to be fine uh, he is healed in the name of Jesus and you know what? This may even help him out in his election and his campaign. So, you know, um, Patriots, I didn't want to make a super long video. I needed to get this out there to you guys. I need you guys to share this video. Forget liking it, but do like it. If you do like the contest of what I am saying right now, please like this video. But definitely share the video, you guys, because we need to resort back to scriptures. This goes to the pastors, okay? I need you guys to resort back to the scripture. I would like you guys to go back and look at the three Hebrew boys. Shad, oh, Shadrach, 
Meshach and Abednego and look how they came against them and yes the king was cool with them and then the, his little buddies talking in his ears you know hey da, 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 da. let's make all these laws all these rules all these regulations and when they don't and when they're praising their God and making it pretty much illegal to, to praise your God I will resort back to California you guys look what they tried to do at one time they tried to get rid of the Bible they said because of the coronavirus you cannot praise and worship all right they also restrict people from going to churches okay and they making it oh they just passed a law I believe it's S B 145 saying that homosexual not homosexuality please read me that up uh, you can have sex with someone 10 years and younger than you and you do not have to register as a sex offender so you guys with that said what does that sound like to you please comment below please comment i would love to hear your opinion um yes you guys sorry about that i swerved a little bit um yes you guys so now that that said i also want to put before i end this the only person pastors men of god Christians and Patriots, the strongest defender of our Christian values, like it or not, and say he's a man of God or not a man of God, but the strongest defender of the Christian values have been Trump, who've been openly standing for going to church, saying this is unconstitutional, saying that you can praise and worship, okay? So, but like it or not, he's been this defending the Christian faith since this the whole thing took off okay i just want to remind you fake christians out there the fake christians who i see posting and saying comments out of your mouth look you are supposed to be a man and woman of god so please check yourself and remember you are a man and woman of god first and you should be obedient to him and you know what i say this is tyrone the conservative guy you know what I say? God bless and Trump 2020. And we got four more years of greatness coming, you guys. Let's make America great. Let's keep America great.